Hi everyone, how are you doing today? As promised, I am here to make a video on the Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils and give you my opinion on them. I spent hours yesterday working with these pencils and most of you know that I am a fan of Prismacolors and I've been trying out some other pencils and kind of experimenting with different things. I mean, I do have other pencils. I just love Prismacolors. They're my absolute favorite. But I had to order these because I just had to see what all the rave was about all over the internet in coloring groups and everything else. And I just had to try them for myself. I don't ever spend that amount of money on pencils. I would rather buy myself a nice set of budget pencils to use aside my Prismas rather than buying true light fast or high light fast artist rated pencils but I really I don't know it just was getting to me I had to see what all the hype was about so I'm coming to you today with my opinion on what I think of these pencils because as we all know we all have a preference on what pencils we love the most. Some of us like Polychromos, some of us love the Pablos, some of us love, love, love our Prismacolors. So with that being said, I am going to show you today what I've colored with the Pablos, what my experience was coloring with them and we are going to try them out together in a couple different uh, books with different paper because as you can see right here I've got the um, Joanna Bassford World of Flowers book which is my absolute favorite book right at this moment I mean last month you would have found me saying it was Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosans which I still love that book but right now I'm just all about this book <laughs> so I what I've been doing is coloring with I pull I went in my closet and I pulled out the other pencils that I have and I have colored these bugs I wanted to use these bugs since they were smaller things on the page and I wanted to use them to try out other pencils and see what I can do um, and try to get used to the oil based pencils again so I have the, oh my gosh, I'm not sure exactly how to say it, the Spear Faber, Spear maybe, Spear Faber pencils. And I started by coloring this bug here with those pencils. They are just, they are an oil-based, uh, I like to call them budget um, friendly pencil. I don't believe they have any type of light fast rating to them or anything. Um, I would have to check on that, but at the price, I doubt that they do. But this is what I came with. Of course, I added my favorite stickles in here. Um, I think I used this color. It doesn't have a color name on it because it came in a pack of three that I probably bought at Michael's or something. But this is what I came up with and I will say that I love these pencils. I really, really do love these pencils for the price and what they are and the way that they blend and the softness and everything. I love these pencils. If you would like me to do a review on these pencils, I would be glad to. Just let me know in the comments below. And then this one here was done with Polychromos. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see these bugs a little bit better. But here we go. This one here was done with my Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. And I don't know, I'm not really a Polychromos type. I don't know, I think it's my technique that I use because I have a certain technique that I use and I color a certain way. If all of you have seen my previous videos, I just have a way that I do things with the Prismacolors and they always seem to just blend beautifully with ease and I don't need to put a lot of pressure on my pencil. 
and I love how this turned out but it was more work than if I was using my Prismacolor pencils so like for instance here where I blended the oranges with the reds and the yellows in the legs of the bug you can see I don't know if you could see if I'm zoomed in enough but you could see that it's kind of scratchy where I kind of had a little bit of resistance where I was trying to blend the pencils together and then I came up here and I did it again and I realized that I was probably doing it a little bit incorrectly and I changed my technique a little bit and I think I ended up doing um, the dark color first and then going into the lighter colors on this one and using a lot pressure when I filled this part in and this over here and so I didn't end up with this because see when you're so used to using one certain type or one certain brand of pencil you just get so accustomed to what you're doing and using another pencil is just a whole entire relearning of your technique now to get to the whole point of this video this one right here is the one that I colored with the Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils and I love it I really really do now as far as my opinion when it comes to these pencils it took me hours to do this when I tell you hours like I literally spent the entire day yesterday from probably 1 o'clock p.m. until 5 or 6 o'clock doing nothing but coloring not just this bug but I was also experimenting on other pages and using different colors and I did a little bit of um, research on the pencils and looked at other people's reviews and see if I could find how they laid the pencils down and what I was doing incorrectly because by the time I was done with this bug let me tell you my hand hurt my thumb right here is still like numb like I have like a numb feeling in my thumb from using these pencils but I also want to say do not let that deter you from purchasing these pencils for yourself because after I went and read a few reviews it's very hard to find things on Amazon where people show you how to use these pencils so I kind of had to go through Amazon reviews and read reviews from actual artists and find artist blogs that talked about it but these pencils are they can't even be compared I know a lot of people want to compare these pencils to Prismacolor pencils but in actuality you really cannot because they are a whole different ball game they don't lay down anything like a Prismacolor you can't just lay them down and expect expect them to blend the same way and get the same performance that you would get from a Prismacolor because it's just a whole different type of pencil they are after much research because I don't even think Karen Dosh has it on their website I have looked it up and read a few different artists and what they have to say and people that have actually contacted Karen Dash themselves. And as far as I know over researching since before I got them up until after I had them, they are an oil-based pencil. So with that being said, the Prismacolors are wax-based. And even with that, every wax based pencil I think performs differently and all of the oil based pencils I believe perform differently too like these are completely different than my polychromos um, pencils when I colored this bug over here I got a completely different outcome than when I colored this bug here because they just lay down completely different when you're using the Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils they are meant to be applied in layers and very thin layers with light pressure at a time so it does require patience but they are also extremely pigmented and I'll show you that when we color something um, but now that I have learned the proper technique 
it's it, I mean as a colorist it's very hard to change your technique because we all become so set in our ways and the way that we do things but if you're into any kind of artistry even as a colorist it's very important how to, to learn different techniques and how to do different things and how to blend in different ways and the difference between blending and layering and such okay so this is actually uh, Joanna Basford's Magical Jungle and I just got this book it was so hard to get because I don't know if it's going out of print or what the story is but I had to actually go to a bookstore and get it because it just was not available on Amazon and all of her other books are so I don't know what the story is with that but I was so excited to get it it was one of my coloring purchases this last week now this is what I wanted to show you I did this last night this is all done with the Caran d'Ache pencils and I used these three colors I will tell you the one thing I love about these pencils is their array of colors their array of colors are beautiful and they have the perfect mixes of darks they've got a lot of highlight colors and then they've got a lot of medium colors and they mix together so well if you pick the perfect combinations these are the three colors that I used for these leaves and I'm gonna show you let me remove this other book from underneath and put that out of the way and let's zoom in here and oh we've got some over here on the other side right here we're gonna color these here so like I usually do I'm gonna go in and lay down my lightest color And notice I'm using very light pressure. Then I'm going to come in with my medium color. For those of you that have these pencils and you're wondering which colors I'm using, the first one was the lime green. And this one that I'm using right now is the Veronese green. Veronese green, I think it says. It's a very beautiful medium green that is still bright, which I love colors like that. And I'm just kind of laying some of this down with a very light pressure in a circular motion, just where I feel like I want it. I mean, if you can see already, you can already tell that it's blending in very nicely. The one thing I will say about these pencils and my issue with my finger hurting, maybe because I have a very bad habit of pushing, see how my thumb that hurts is resting right here on this part of the pencil and I have a tendency for years all my life of pushing in hard with that thumb which I really need to stop doing that and the fact that these pencils if you look at them they are hexagonal they're not round like what some of you may be used to and that may be part of the issue for me so I'm gonna keep using these and see what I think and if that is the issue and try to stop this habit that I have 
of pushing in with that thumb finger like that. Okay, so we've got some of that laid down. This color is called, this is the cobalt blue. And look how nicely this one just blends in with the others. I love this color. And after thinking about it, I am probably correct in why my finger is hurting since last night in that I do push down like that. And that is something that I just need to learn to control on my own. I think sometimes we pick up those habits from a very young age when we first start ha learning how to hold a pencil. But the pigment in these does lay down very nicely. They are a very pigmented pencil. They are just different and they require a different learning technique. So now I'm coming back in with my medium green again. What was it called? The Veronese green. And I am going over this again to try to blend some of that in. And again, I'm using very light pressure. Like when I first started using these, I just assumed they were going to perform better when I pushed harder and nothing was happening. And I, so I was getting frustrated and I was like, oh, these aren't going to work for me. No, I don't like them, but I'm trying to give you a really honest review and my opinion because, you know, with my actual experience, and I wanted to put a whole, you know, like hours in using these pencils before I came to you with this video because there are you know, the videos that I've watched where people discuss these pencils, you know, a lot of them are either just coloring with them, not really giving their opinion, or they may have different opinions. You know, and I've, I really believe when it comes to pencil reviews that everybody has their own opinion and their own experience. And a lot of it is due to relearning your technique, which, you know, some of us are interested in, in doing that. And some of us are just set in our ways and want to do what we're doing. But if you try to use these like a Prismacolor, you are going to have an aching hand. And you are not you're not going to enjoy these pencils. So you need to use them the way that they were intended. But see how nicely they blend together? And then I'm going to come back in here with my lightest highlight color and I'm just kind of kind of blend these in. But look how pretty they are. I mean, like I said, the colors are fabulous in this set. I am going with a little bit harder pressure now, just trying to get that blend that I want. And another thing I want to let you know that if you're not able to get the blend that you want, your 
Prismacolor um, Colorist Blender also works very well with these. Look at that. I love how this Prismacolor Colorist Blender, Blender Colorless Blender works with so many different pencils. It really has been a lifesaver at times. But look how beautiful that is. And it really did not take me much time. Like, if I was using my Prisma colors, I would have spent more time on this. And if I were using these Pablos the same way that I was using them when I was coloring the bug, I would have also taken much more time to color in this one leaf. But now that I understand how they lay down, it has been, they've been a joy to work with. And I only discovered it late last night. And so I had to go in and color, find another page and just try it out on these leaves. And see if I can make them work for me. And I was so excited that I did. But there is that leaf done and completed. And I have... I told you all in my Facebook group that I was going to try this out on a couple different types of paper. And I know that a lot of you use the books from Amazon in the creative, um, is it called Creative Space or the Amazon paper? And so I pulled out one of my Jade Summer books. This is Jade Summer Chibi Girls. And I wanted to try some colors on a page. Now, this book came and it was defective, and I don't know if I ever even noticed, but I pulled it out and there's like lines on this page and it looks very digitized and it's just not a good copy. And I never noticed when I got the book. I don't know if there's other pages in this book that are like that, but I am gonna show you how these pencils perform on the Amazon paper. So I'm going to use the same colors just because I feel like that's necessary. So we're kind of comparing color to color. And so maybe we'll start in her dress and just do a small space on here and see how these lay down on this paper. So like I did before, I'm going to come in with my lightest color and we'll just do the top part of her dress just for testing sake now we'll come in with the medium of the greens that I chose and they are actually laying down nicely. Wow. I am impressed. I am really impressed. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more so you could see how this is going. These, oh my goodness, these are laying down so nice in this on this Amazon paper. I am really shocked because you could probably tell I sound shocked. But I am shocked because I really thought that that would not be the case. But I love how they're working in this book. See how the colors all blend in with one another. I will say another fabulous thing about these pencils too 
is if you notice, you could see how this lightest color is laying right over the darkest color without hesitation or without any type of resistance. And I really love that because considering these are oil-based, some oil-based pencils do not perform in that way. Like I was saying, you can have one oil-based pencil and it will perform completely different than another oil-based pencil. I'm just coming back in and doing, oh, these are working so well on this Amazon paper. I am, I'm shocked. I love how they're working in this book. Possibly better than in the Joanna Basford book, which is really crazy to say because that is much better quality paper. But I am putting in much less effort here and it is just laying down so nicely. But look at that. Let's do the other side. I honestly feel like I am using less pressure than I was using in the other book. This is wonderful. I think I'm going to go pull my Deborah Muller back, books back out again and use these pencils in some of those books. Now, I don't want to make this video too long because they really do take hours to upload and I don't want to just continue to have anyone lose interest. So if you're interested and you would like me to do another video coloring in something like a Hannah Carlson book, then we can do that as well. Just let me know in the comments and I would be glad to do that. Or I could even do it in the Facebook group on a live and show you how they perform in that book. I know my Prisma um, or my Facebook group is primarily Prisma colors. So if I did do a live in there, it would have to be specific to our multimedia or mixed media Mondays. And so it would be on a Monday. But I would still, you know, with that being said, I would still be glad to do that for y'all. Oh my gosh. See, I love these pencils even more now. But I am so surprised at how they perform in this book. I really didn't think I was going to be this impressed. It makes me love these pencils even more now. So if you would like to see that, I could either do that in a video here on YouTube or we could do it as a live in the Facebook group. But if we were to do it as a live in the Facebook group, it would have to be on a Monday, which is our um, Mixed Media Mondays, where we sh can share everything that is non-Prisma color in the group. And so if you would like to see that, I could probably do that live just to do a demonstration in those books. But honestly, I am surprised. Like these are performing probably even better in this book than they did in the Joanna Basford book, which is really surprising for me to say. If you liked this video and you would like to see more 
um, pencil reviews. I do have other pencils and I would be glad to do those for you. Let me know what you're interested in in the comments and I would be glad to to make videos and focus those on what you all are interested in. But my final review and opinion on these pencils is that after learning how to use them and changing my previous technique a lot <laughs> and learning that you need to lay them down very lightly in layers, thin layer over thin layer, my experience has been wonderful and I really love them. I don't want to compare them to something like a Prismacolor because they're not in the same ballpark as a Prismacolor. So it really wouldn't be fair to do that. They are just a completely different type of colored pencil. And I know a lot of people say that they are right in between a Polychromo and a Prismacolor. Maybe, but there are a lot of things about Prismacolors that Prismacolors will do that these pencils don't do. And there are a lot of things about poly Polychromos that Polychromos will do that you can do or can't do with these pencils. For instance, like I said earlier, a Polychromos, if you want white space, their white is not as opaque. So you kind of need to leave a little white space in these, I could take a lighter color and I can put them right over my darker colors and you will be able to see them and they're wonderful. And the same as my Prisma colors, in that way, they are the same as the Prisma colors, but the Polychromos perform completely different. If you would like me to do a video, a comparison video between the Polychromos and these Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils, I would be glad to do that. Um, because I think that those two are more comparable, whereas I don't think I would really compare these as much to a Prismacolor. So just let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in future videos, what you would like me to review, how you would like me to review it. I love that I did this on two different types of paper because it gives a much more thorough review, I believe. And like you saw, I was so surprised in how these laid down on Amazon paper. But like I said, I am so surprised in how these pencils performed on the Amazon paper. I really thought that I would enjoy them more in the Joanna Basford books. And that really may not be the case. I may start pulling out some of my books on Amazon paper, like my Deborah Muller and my Jade Summer and my uh, Hannah Lynn and start coloring some things in those. So, yeah, <laughs> I was pretty surprised. But if you are not already in my Facebook group and would like to join us, we just finished up some color alongs, and I will be coming along with the video showing everybody's color palette color alongs in a future video. And... I did an unboxing on these pencils. If you would like to see the array of colors and the way that um, they are laid out in the tin and would like to see me unboxing those, I'm going to link that in the description as well as my Facebook group. Um, if you would like to join us in the Facebook group, I would love to have you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.